What's your name? Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Shang Yip. And where are you from? I am from Icon Cancer Center. And what do you do? I am a medical oncologist and I treat patients with cancer, cancers such as uh, kidney cancer, breast cancer, uh, prostate cancer, uh, lung cancers, and colon cancers. Explain kidney cancer in one sentence for someone who's never heard. Okay, so kidney cancer is pretty much a group of uh, abnormal cells growing in the kidney. So often this might start in the kidney, but it may spread to other parts near to the kidney like the lymph nodes. Uh, and then it may go to other parts of the organs, other organs such as uh, the lungs, the bones, uh, the liver. How likely am I to get kidney cancer in my lifetime? Okay, so kidney cancer is among the top 10 most common cancers uh, among men. And there are around about 400 uh, new kidney cancers uh, diagnosed every year in Singapore. And what's the average age of someone who is diagnosed? Okay, so kidney cancer tends to affect uh, older uh, people in the population. It is rare to get kidney cancer below the age of 40. The average age uh, people within their uh, above 60 years old and the average age being around about 64 or 65 years old. So one symptom people should watch out for? Okay, so the number one symptom that uh, many of my kidney cancer patients do present with is uh, blood in the urine. And I suppose that's because it's something that is a little bit scary and often is something that does prompt people to go see their doctors uh, fairly quickly. So, so my last few patients that did come to me did present with uh, blood in the urine. Having said that, there are other symptoms to watch out for if you have kidney cancer and these are things like pain in the lower back, specifically sometimes more on the right side or the left side of the lower back, uh, weight loss, fevers uh, or a mass uh, in the abdomen. What's one lifestyle change that lowers your risk? So if there's one thing that you can do to lower your risk of kidney cancer, that would be if you are a smoker, stop smoking. Not only will that lower your risk of getting kidney cancer, it will lower your risk of getting many other cancers as well. Who's more likely to get kidney cancer, men or women? Okay, so men unfortunately are a lot more likely to get uh, kidney cancer compared to women. About 90% of kidney cancers are, are males and only about 10% of fe uh, kidney cancer patients are female. Can family history or genetics play a role? Yes, so kidney cancer is one of those cancers which uh, can be due to genetics. So specifically, there are what we call hereditary uh, cancers that uh, can be passed down from uh, family members uh, to patients. So now having said that, it's only about 5% of all kidney cancers are due to uh, hereditary conditions. How is kidney cancer typically diagnosed? So typically, kidney cancers are diagnosed through scans. So these may be uh, CT scans or MRI scans or ultrasounds. And usually, you will need a biopsy to confirm the diagnosis. Is biopsy needed for all cases? Okay, so biopsy is not always needed for, all, uh, for the diagnosis of all kidney cancers. Uh, certainly, I can think of a few patients who, whose scans were very uh, definitive of uh, kidney cancer and so they proceeded straight away to have their surgery. Uh, there are also patients who the scans are less uh, conclusive and these patients sometimes would require a biopsy to determine whether or not they do have kidney cancer. If someone gets diagnosed with kidney cancer, what's the first step in treatment? Okay, so kidney cancer and the management of kidney cancer alongside many other cancers is often uh, multidisciplinary. So usually the first step would be surgery. Right? But then often many patients will then need extra treatments uh, after the surgery. How do you decide between all the treatments that you go, like surgery, radiation, other therapy and more? So to decide between uh, what's the best treatment for the patient, we look at a few factors. Uh, one of the things we look at is the stage of the kidney cancer. So we also look at the type of uh, kidney cancer. Uh, we look at also the patient factors, like how old they may be, how fit they may be for surgery or for uh, targeted therapy or immunotherapy. So once we have uh, all this whole picture together, then we will be able to decide what is the best treatment that is uh, needed for each patient. What is targeted therapy? Okay, so, so targeted therapy is uh, using drugs that are able to target molecules on the cancer cells. So the reason why we call them targeted therapy is like they are like missiles able to attack a specific target. So in this way, we, it tends to be more accurate in terms of treating the patients. There tends to be less side effects as well. What's the recovery like after kidney cancer treatment? Okay, so typically most patients will have to undergo surgery for kidney cancer and after that they may require uh, additional treatments to prevent the cancer from uh, uh, relapsing. 
Now, one of my patients who had recent surgery, he underwent the surgery to have his uh, kidney removed. And after that, you would normally need a recovery time of about one to two months. Uh, after about one to two months, he, is, he would be pretty much back to his normal function. And then we would start his uh, immunotherapy treatment. Now, during immunotherapy, he would be seeing me regularly, every, uh, once every three weeks or every month. Uh, and the treatment would definitely go on for about one whole year. What is the most memorable thing you have a patient you have treated? So, one of the most memorable uh, kidney cancer patients I've treated is this 60-year-old uh, uh, gentleman who was diagnosed with uh, kidney cancer about four to five years ago. So initially, we thought that he had uh, ki uh, early stage kidney cancer. So he saw a surgeon and he had uh, his kidney removed. Unfortunately, shortly after, while his uh, surgeon was looking after him, uh, he did a CT scan and noticed that, that the, the kidney cancer had uh, relapsed and had spread to the lungs. And that's when he was referred to see me. Um, at that time, about four or five years ago, we started him, I started him on uh, targeted therapy in combination with immunotherapy. And amazingly, uh, the kidney cancer responded extremely well and he's lived pretty much a very normal life. You know, he's been working throughout his whole treatment uh, and uh, his treatment continues now. He still remains on his targeted therapy. Uh, he's finished his immunotherapy, but he lead, leads pretty much a very uh, normal life. Uh, and most people, he often tells me that most people don't even know that he's had cancer and that he's on treatment for his cancer. If you could give one piece of advice to someone who has just been diagnosed with kidney cancer, what would it be? Okay, so for the patient who has just been diagnosed with kidney cancer, the one thing to know is there is much hope for you. Okay, so. Uh, early stage kidney cancer in particular is a very curable. So stage 1 kidney cancers often have a cure rate of over 90%. And even stage 2 and stage 3 kidney cancer patients are cured um, most of the time these days as well with all the advances in treatments. And even if you have been diagnosed with uh, stage 4 kidney cancer, the advances in kidney cancer tra treatments over the last few years have been tremendous. And so many patients are now living uh, much longer uh, than they ever used to, despite having stage 4 kidney cancer. One thing you wish more people knew about. So, the key to uh, treating kidney cancer and any cancer is we need to try to get it diagnosed uh, early. So if you have any symptoms like blood in the urine or pain uh, in your lower back that's uh, there for a few weeks, don't ignore it. Uh, it's important to see your doctor to have this uh, checked out so that in case you do have cancer, uh, we are able to treat it at its early stages. As we wrap up, what is your biggest hope for the future of kidney cancer treatment in the So there have been so many advances in the treatment of kidney cancer over the last few years. And the way oncology is progressing, there are going to be many new treatments uh, for kidney cancer even in the years to come. So our treatments are only going to get better. Patients are more likely to get cured in future. And even those who have uh, uh, stage 4 kidney cancers are likely to live uh, even longer than before. So there is much hope for the future. So, uh, how many more questions do we have? Great catch, we're just done with 20 questions. Thanks for being here and giving us a download on kidney cancer. No problem, glad to be able to help. Stay healthy everyone.